Hey guys, in today's video from my jacuzzi on my rooftop, I'm going to talk about three subjects. Because of these subjects, you mostly have the questions. Subject one is my insurance, subject two is the schooling of the kids, and subject three is the choice of our countries during our travels. So if you want to know exactly how we handle insurance, how we handle the schooling, and how we choose the countries we visit, then make sure you watch this video till the end because it's going to be a cool video with a lot of information about these subjects that a lot of people are questioning themselves before they change life, before they start a digital nomad life, before they take a world trip around the world with their family, with their wife, with their kids, with their husband, whatever it is. So make sure you watch the video till the end because full, full, full with cool information. Bam! So let's give it a try to explain to you what I think about these three subjects. The first subject is insurance. A lot of people think that when they start to travel, they don't have an insurance anymore. But that's not true. Most of your countries, um, the insurance company that you have when you live in that country, still accepts it when you travel for six months or eight months. So you can still stay assured uh, at that company that is, you have your regular uh, health insurance. The moment you travel longer than like eight months or a year, then the story starts to change a little bit. Most insurance companies don't um, accept you as a client anymore. Or if you de-register from your country, then those countries, uh, those um, insurance companies will say, um, where's your proof of address? You're not living in this country. We can't insure you. So for that, there is a new insurance company and it is built by digital nomads for digital nomads that we already use for a couple of years. This one is called Safety Wing. Safety Wing is very cheap. I don't know the exact price, but I think it's around $37 per person and you have full coverage during your travels on your health insurance. Um, they, have a diff they have a few different insurance options. So as a digital nomad, as an expat. So you need to go to the website safetywing.com and you can exactly find the insurance that fits you best. Of course, we um, would love you guys to use our referral link. So click our referral link down below this video to Safety Wing to discover the beautiful insurance company that is built by digital nomads for digital nomads because you don't need to invent the wheel again. A lot of digital nomads experience that problem and a few of them started this beautiful company, Safety Wing, to help you get insured during your travels, long term or short term. So uh, don't wait anymore, not going to talk more. Click the link down below the video and visit that insurance company website, Safety Wing. It will be your safety wing while you travel. Buy digital nomads for the digital nomads. First issue covered, bam. Now let's go into the second issue. The second issue that people always talk about is schooling. But if you leave your country, your kids don't go to school. Do you want your kids still to be in that schools? Or do you think different about life? Do you think different about the future? Would you wish to have the freedom to educate your kids the way you want to educate your kids? Do we need to follow the standard steps that we have been following, or you have been following, or our parents have been following? Is it normal that schools are always, always educated inside of four walls? Is it normal you don't have the freedom to choose for the education of your kid? You need to ask yourself all these questions when you're making that decision. In our opinion, it is not normal that we are not free to choose the education we want. We want to be free in choice. We want to be free to choose where we live, how we live, how we earn money, how we spend money in our, in, in, in our situations, bitcoins, and also how we school the kids, how we prepare the kids for the future. My wife and I worked very hard to create those kids. <laughs> they are from our flesh and blood. So are we please free to educate them in the way we want? Maybe we see a different future for our kids. You know, it's the same like religion. Some people believe in this religion, some in the other religion. You need to respect each other for which religion you choose. I think schooling is a huge essential. 
why am I not allowed to school my kids differently? For all, the, for all the others that are afraid of unschooling or homeschooling, that it takes too much time, we also discovered that there is an online school, it's called Galileo. It is an online school created again by Digital Nomads for Digital Nomad that helps you as a parent in the education of your kids. Our kids attend the Galileo school every morning, 30 to 40 minutes. And during those 30, 40 minute Zoom calls with a teacher, with other kids from all over the world that are in the same time zone, they get educated in the stuff that the kids want to be educated in. So those teachers guide them through their own education that the kids want. Some Jolie wants to learn about dolphins, then the teacher will take a month time, create a schedule, we are going to do this, this, this and this to get educated about dolphins, about the stars, about surfing, about digital nomad life, about entrepreneurship, about programming, about Bitcoin, about anything you want. So the Galileo school we found out is a very good school and to start to use as a digital nomad. Also for this school, we have an affiliate link, click the link down below this video because if you click the link down below our video, there is a beautiful uh, maybe discount code for you waiting and um, if you sign up using our referral link. Galileo is a very nice school. The kids all enjoy it. Juna doesn't enjoy it to the, uh, to the fullest, but Juna wouldn't enjoy the regular school system as well. So it depends on your kid, but you can adapt to the needs of your kid. Galileo is a perfect solution for you there that are doubting that you as a parent can guide the kids through what they want to be guided through. Mathematics, stars, astrology. That's what I meant to say instead of stars. Stars look like the moon, Bitcoin to the moon. <laughs> like astrology, biology, um, all that stuff. We have beautiful teachers at the Galileo School that will guide you. So uh, they do a better job than we do. I know that for sure in some subjects. When it comes to Bitcoin, I am the best Bitcoin educator out there for my kids, so I will give them all the Bitcoin education. The rest, I will let Galileo do. The kids love it, and they meet other kids daily. So, no worries on the schooling over there. Bam! Then, we have the third issue. Most questions we get is, yes, we want to start that life that you are living, or we want to start to travel and take the kids out of the system, and, you know, just have some fun for a couple of months, or maybe forever. Um, which country should we choose, Didi? Which country was the best of the 42 countries you visited in the last couple of years? There's a lot of countries you can visit. For us, Thailand is a one of the top five countries. Australia is the one of the top five countries. Portugal is a top five country. I think we can add Indonesia to the top five country. And now I think even Mexico is one of the countries that is a top five country all these countries are the countries we love but it also depends on your budget it also depends on your taste for food it also depends do you like warm or cold weather we prefer warm weather but if it if you are like us and you prefer beach countries like sunny countries and that have good food that have the freedom of educating your kids the way you want that give nature and all other possibilities to give uh, education to your kids in a different way then Thailand for us is, is one of the top top countries because life is cheap over there so whatever budget you have you can live in Thailand food is amazing over there whatever budget you have you can cook yourself very cheap but you can also eat out in restaurants very cheap so Thailand also there on the top Three, animals. There's a lot of nature and animals in Thailand, so you can educate your kids about nature and animals in a physical way. Let them touch an elephant, let them watch an elephant, let them feed the monkeys, whatever, crocodiles, whatever you want, you can find it in, in Thailand. Um, the people are very nice in Thailand, so they are always open-minded to, you know, play with your kids, be with your kids. You can find nannies for your kids if you prefer to have that, you know. Uh, so Thailand is for us number five. Is our amazing the beaches are more beautiful in my opinion than all other countries I have been visiting uh, you have the palm trees you have the white sand beaches uh, you know fresh coconuts every day for like 30 cents a fresh coconut so Thailand for me is the top one country together with Indonesia because all the things I told you now about Thailand Indonesia has that as well and it's even cheaper you know so for me top Thailand's Asia is Indonesia and Thailand but Australia when it comes to 
um, education and English for the kids. Everybody speaks English in, in Australia. Animals, we have even more animals over there. The animal kingdom is huge in Australia. Beaches are long, beautiful. You have the biggest reef in the world. It's the Great Barrier Reef. It, there is more variety in animals, beaches and nature in Australia than I think anywhere else in the world. You have the dry land, you have the tropics, you have many possibilities. New Zealand also. So it completely depends on your budget because Australia, you, you, won't, go, you won't get there with two, three thousand US dollars a month with five people, yeah, a family of five. In Thailand, easy, easy with five people less than three thousand dollars a month. So it all depends. So for me, the perfect start is Asia. There you go to get that reset from the normal life into this traveling life. You enjoy the beaches, the healthy food, while it all doesn't cost too much for you. Then when you find your digital nomad product project that you do to make a living, trading Bitcoin, uh, an online store, coaching, online yoga, whatever you decide to begin, when that starts to earn money for you on a monthly basis, then you can explore the more expensive countries like Australia. So it all depends on your starting budget and what you decide to do as a digital nomad family to even earn money. For me, the choice is obvious, of course, Bitcoin, everything around Bitcoin. Trading Bitcoin, you only need a laptop and you start to trade. Maybe even buy our indicators that help you trading without having too much knowledge and to multiply your Bitcoins. By multiplying your Bitcoins, you can live off your Bitcoin stack. So you take the money you have at home, you invest it in a store of value like Bitcoin. Bitcoin will sometimes be increasing and decreasing in price. You trade a part of that and a part you hedge into stable currencies and buy back cheaper. So you play with your money. Even better, you don't work anymore. You let your money work for you. And then you end up doing the thing you love. Maybe sitting in a jacuzzi, maybe surfing, maybe paragliding, maybe yoga on the beach while your money is making more capital for you. By using bots, by using a trading algorithm, by trading now and then yourself, by playing the big swing trades, by investing in alt currencies, many options possible in this whole new world of cryptocurrency that can make this digital nomad life for you very easy. I think that was uh, everything for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, then give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, and yes, share it with your friends and family, of course. And if you have any more questions, visit the website thebitcoinfamily.com where we educate you on how we did it. Yep. That's the, our style. But you are not going to create your own style, but we can give you the first baby steps in creating your own style. So visit our Discord server, Telegram group, or our website thebitcoinfamily.com for more information. So that was enough work did it today. I'm going to enjoy this beautiful jacuzzi now without talking to an iPhone over there. That's strange. I'm talking to an iPhone, I'm seeing a palm tree, and you have this amazing view. Now I'm going to enjoy this view. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bam!